Welcome to Dylan's Garage. If you can't buy, build. If you don't know how, learn. The Forerunner has been in transition for a while now with new armor, rubber, and I've been rolling with my new lights not wired up for an embarrassingly long time. It's time to fix that. And big thanks to Augsbeam for sending me this RGB switch panel model AR600. It's a six gang panel, but they also make eight and 12 gang panels. If you're looking for a review, I love this panel and recommend you get one too, link below. I've been wanting to collaborate with Augsbeam for a long time and they finally gave me a shot. It's amazing to see my dreams unfold and to have all of you along for the journey. If you're here for the how-to, there's really not much to it, but keep watching. And as always, if you have any questions, hit the comments below or shoot me a DM on Instagram. I posted my affiliate links below, so it's massively helpful if you're ready to purchase and use my links. I'm forever thankful to you all. Included in the box is everything you need to get started, wires, fuse taps, breaker, fuse box, and of course the panel. In my 4th gen 4Runner I already have a dedicated line energy auxiliary battery, but I'll lay out the wiring for those of you who will be hooking it up to your starter battery. Find a place to mount your breaker near the battery, maybe with some self tapper screws into the side of your engine bay. You'll want to connect one red wire from the positive side of your battery to the input side of the breaker, then connect the longer of the two red wires from the output of the breaker to the positive terminal on the fuse box. Use the black wire to connect your fuse box negative terminal to your battery or to a good chassis or body ground. Note that you always want your breaker or fuse as close to the power source as possible regardless of where the fuse box is mounted. The fuse box has an access slot for wires so wherever you want to mount it be sure that the slot is accessible. Not that I exactly recommend it but I decided to mount the Augsbeam fuse box directly to the top of my vehicle fuse box in the engine bay with a couple self-tapping screws straight into the plastic. It's super important if you do this also to seal the hole you make in the lid to prevent any water or moisture from entering the vehicle fuse box. A tube of gasket maker like Ultra Black or Ultra Gray works great here. I've got Ultra Gray on hand so that's what I used. This switch panel is accessory or ignition switched. This means that the panel will not power on unless your vehicle key is switched to the on position. This works by tapping into one of your vehicle fuses that is ignition switched also. You can find a fuse that works by looking at your fuse diagram or searching online. Most forums will have a thread about finding an ignition switched fuse. You can also pull fuses that you think might work and use a test light or a multimeter to find which sockets are powered full time versus the ones that are only on when the key is on. If you can't find one in the engine bay, you might need to run the ignition switch wire through the firewall to the fuse box in the cab. Be sure to insert the original fuse in the slot closest to the fuse tap prongs and ensure it's facing the same direction so the flow of electricity is exactly the same when you plug it all back in. I wasn't really a fan of the included butt connector. I'm sure it works fine, but I prefer crimp connectors that have heat shrink with double wall protection where there's a type of of glue that melts and seals the connection better. After crimping the accessory wire, route it to the Augsbeam fuse box and plug it in. After you like and subscribe, run your control panel cable through the firewall. I usually stretch out a wire clothing hanger and tape my cable to it and poke the straightened wire hanger through a boot in the firewall. In this case, I was doing some other rewiring and was able to use some pre-run wire to pull the new one through. What will single-handedly make this Augsbeam install stand out on any 4th Gen 4Runner is this fused fab switch panel mount that replaces the fuse door on your dash. This gives you the most OEM look and is a very sturdy mount. I have big respect for small companies and people who make these dedicated products out of pure passion. If you have an 03 to 09 Forerunner, this mount is an absolute must. Use the Augsbeam included screws to mount your panel to the mount 
and slip the mount into your dash and lock it down with an Allen screw. Then tuck your wires back and zip tie them to keep them secure. I already have a fused positive wire running from my Lion Energy auxiliary battery, but this is when you would want to run a positive wire from either your starter or auxiliary battery and be sure to fuse it or run it through the included breaker. Then run your negative cable from the battery, chassis, or body to your fuse box. Bad grounds can cause many electrical issues, so be sure your source battery has a solid body and chassis ground. Link below to the crimp connectors, heat shrink, and tools I used. After running your positive and negative cable, the switch panel, and accessory cables, you're ready to start connecting your peripherals. As I mentioned, I have some new lights up on the rack and a couple ditch lights to wire up. I'm running three positive cables to the rack light so I can control the DRL function and also wire the two outer lights separate from the five inner lights. I learned from the best. After spending a lot of time with Chad Schreiber from Schreiber Automotive, I like to spin my wires together and wrap everything I run in Tessa tape for a clean and protected OEM looking install. Be sure to look up a wire size chart to make sure you use adequate gauge wire to power your gear and also connect your items to the correct amperage channel in the fuse box. If you run to a fuse that's rated too high or if you use a wire that's too small, it'll increase your risk of fire. So take wire size very seriously. Using the KC wire hider makes it easy to run wires up your windshield to the lights and gear on your roof. Links to that below. Wiring these lights took a while. I combined the wires from two lights into each side of a butt connector that also chained the positive and negative cables to each light. I ran the positive wire up one side of the windshield from the fuse box, but the negative cables I ran down the opposite side and grounded them to a bus bar I installed and grounded to the body. So you aren't required to run every ground back to the aux beam fuse box. So you can really customize for positive or negative switching and choose the best path for your setup. This switch panel comes with many different stick on labels, which makes it easy to find the perfect match for whatever it is that you wire up. Colite LED sent me these rad ditch lights and I ran them both to the same terminal and I just twisted the wires together. They came with decently insulated cables with positive and negative bound together. So I didn't tape these ones up and I connected both positive and negative directly in the fuse box. The directions do a great job of lining out all the functions of the switch panel. You can change the background color, group channels, you can change the functions all with the app or even on the panel itself. I will say it's much easier to configure using the app though. If you just want to change the color quick though without pulling your phone out, you hold down these two buttons for a moment and you can just press on channel one or channel four, which are the top and bottom furthest left channels. Just hold your finger down and it'll slowly cycle through the different colors. It feels great to finally have a proper switch panel instead of a bunch of unlabeled individual old school switches and it will be much easier to wire up new accessories moving forward. Big thanks again to Augsbeam for supplying this switch panel and to Fused Fab for making the perfect mount. Again, if you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram. I'm always happy to answer. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.